started playing music initially at church actually um started off with the drums then went over to the keyboard but then really fell in love with the power of a bass guitar and the fact that it unifies the percussiveness of the drums but then the melodicness from the keys and so when that came into the mix it just brought everything together so i started playing when i was about nine years old eight years old Some of my musical influences would be Richard Bonner, Maurice Fitzgerald, Daryl Freeman. But my first ever musical um, bass player influence is a guy called Abraham Labrell. He's the person that when I saw him play and I saw what people who were not musicians felt when they saw him play, that's what made me say, yeah, I want to play this instrument. Playing live in my band, The Composers, it's, it's an amazing thing. We started off as just a bunch of young friends who had a love for music and then didn't take that interest as anything too serious until we actually started playing with artists and just we saw that our chemistry translated onto stage and people gravitated towards it. So it's amazing. Every every night could be totally different, even though you know what the set list is. It can be totally different. We could be in Africa working with um, Afrobeat artists and we could be um, down in Manchester doing a uh, V Festival or something like that. Yeah, and it's, it's amazing. I mean, at the end of the day, when you work with great musicians, it only makes the musical experience um, better. Playing in the studio is a totally different exercise. I mean, you have to strip back a lot of the time because it's about simplicity when it comes to records. You have to, as a bass player, be the person to hold the groove and hold the continuity of the track. Whereas in a live situation, it's all about the feeling and the vibe. So you're fe feeding off of the audience, you're feeding off of the other band members or the artist that you're with, or if you are the artist, you're the person con constructing the vibe. So. It's a totally different thing in a recording situation, especially I've been doing a lot more recordings recently, um, had some great success with some re records that we've been on. Um, we've had to just learn how to just choose a particular groove and simplify that. And you know you've got a hit when, when the track ends, people remember exactly what you played. That's when you know you've got a hit. Eden sound is very, it's got a, it's got a really distinct sound. You can always tell when someone's using the Eden sound. It's, it's, it's very punchy. It's got, it's got a certain level of growl that cuts through on every mix in terms of like a recording mix when a live setting. And I also love the look of it. This looks like something serious about to happen when you see an Eden logo, the black and gold, the cabs. I mean, you got, it gives you the right punch when you're standing right in front of it. If you're moving in front of the stage, you can still feel that punch even without any additional side feels from any other PA or whatever. Um, I like the fact that the sound, because the sound is so distinctive, you don't have to, it, it already takes off a lot of the work that you have to do as the player. So that's the beauty of the product, you know what I mean? 